The name Dovedale and its associated river sounds romantic. Unfortunately, its meaning has nothing to do with the bird of peace. Instead, it derives from an earlier word meaning dark, the dark river. And you certainly get that impression when walking through the narrow part of the dale. But first we start with our head in the clouds. And yes, cloud is in the title, Thorpe Cloud, and it overlooks Dovedale. I prefer the romantic impression of the name, but it stems from an Anglo-Saxon word meaning rock. Don't be tempted by the masochistic route out of Dovedale. Instead, walk up Lindale, just to the left there, to the other side of the hill, and ascend from there. It is much easier, and the views are stupendous and well worth the effort, but choose a good day. H.F. Holidays have a hotel at Thorpe, and rising behind it is Hampston Hill, a good spot for sunrises and sunsets, but be careful that you do not stray into the rifle range when the flags are flying. I have taken many photographers into Dovedale, and apart from the scenic pleasures of the dale, this dark river lends itself well to experimenting with different shutter speeds, giving a variety of visual effects with fast-moving water. Dovedale is a honeypot, so choose your time carefully. Avoid weekends and public holidays, and whilst winter might be preferred, the sun rarely penetrates this narrow dale. But try 11 o'clock. You might be lucky. The limestone rocks are popularised with romantic titles. On the way is Lover's Leap, Renard's Cave, Tissington Spires, Pickering Tor, and Ilum Rock. Or is it Ilum Rock? I can't remember. Never mind, but wear boots or stout shoes, as the ground is uneven. There are many steps, and I have known the narrow part of the valley to become flooded when the dove is in spate. Even if it is a glorious sunny day, contrast is a problem. These photographs have been taken over several years with a range of Olympus digital cameras, from the earliest pen to the OMD Mark II. In all cases I spot metered off a highlight, allow shadows to become underexposed and then correct it in Lightroom. I experienced some problems with noise in post-production with the earlier cameras, but not with the latest OMD. The water shots are all handheld with the help of the excellent image stabiliser in the camera and later on when I used the fabulous 12-100 Pro lens. You won't be very popular if you erect a tripod as the route in places is very narrow and you'll be causing an obstruction to a public footpath. The shutter speeds vary from a fifteenth of a second to a half and, by the way, I am not using any filters. The light was sufficiently low to do without them. Eventually, Milldale is reached, where there are toilets, refreshments in season, a delightful chapel and plenty of spots for a picnic. Unless you have arranged for someone to meet you, the return journey is the way you came, not necessarily a bad thing. If, however, you are energetic, it is possible to climb out of the dale and return to Thorpe along a high-level route. <laughs> 